Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and I come with good news as usual. For a limited time with any purchase from PluginBoutique.com, we're going to be giving you Balancer. This is a mixing VST plugin formed by the partnership between Focusrite and Sonable. Now, before I jump into explaining a bit more about Balancer, some of you might be asking, but Josh, I thought this month's free with purchase plugin was levels for mastering in the mix. And you'd be absolutely correct. Earlier this month, I announced that free with any purchase from Plugin Boutique was levels. But now we're adding a second option. If you already actually got levels, though, and you make a second purchase, you can can still get balancer for free so if you haven't purchased anything yet you have your choice and if you decide to make two separate purchases this month you can actually get both of these great vsts absolutely free of charge isn't that incredible we're really happy to be doing this we're going to run this deal until may 3rd so that being said let's go ahead and jump into ableton live where i can show you around this incredible mixing plugin all right everybody so this is balancer on the screen here pretty slick looking plugin if you ask me i like the blocky minimal <laughs> view here, but actually it's a really powerful plugin. Most of the heavy lifting is done behind the scenes and you don't need to worry about it. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and run it on these drums and then play you sort of a A and B version of the little projects I'm working on here. One uses a bunch of balancer in it and the other one uses none. And that's the only thing that's different. And you can really hear what balancer does in terms of the final product. It really does do a good job. So first of all, I'm on some drums here. All right, so what we can do is choose a profile, and this is sort of a primer profile to let the algorithm inside know ahead of time what type of information it can be expected to receive, and it can make some better, more accurate decisions for us uh, in terms of its output. So obviously I'm on some drums now and I can choose that. Some of the other options are vocals, both male and female keys, electric or acoustic guitar, individual drums like kick, snare, and hi-hat. And if what you're using or what you're processing isn't available on this list, you just want to go ahead and choose universal. I'm going to choose drums. And then what we need to do is hit learn. And while that's activated, go ahead and let the drums play until it says, you know, it's learned what it needed to. And you can immediately hear once it's said, you know, once the learned bar here is 100% complete, you can immediately hear the difference. So the intensity is essentially what part of the signal output is the wet, balanced audio or the original audio. All the way to the left will be 0% from balancer and all the way to the right will be 100% from balancer. So let's, let's test those out. So you could really hear the difference. Another really nice touch that I like about Balancer is the spectrum down here. We'll actually show you what part is being boosted and cut in terms of the frequency range from essentially 20 hertz to 2000. Now, it doesn't stop there. Not only do we have control over the intensity, and if I double click, it will go back to essentially what it says is the sweet spot every time. I'm looking at about 75%. We also have three different profiles that we can use. We can use a warm algorithm, a neutral algorithm, or a bright algorithm. So let's go ahead and just crank up the intensity and then flip through those three to see if we can't spot the differences in the output. They all sound really good in my opinion. I also, again, like how the entire color scheme changes depending on which algorithm you're using. But I mean, they all three sound really, really phenomenal. Now, I actually, as I said in the beginning of this kind of walkthrough here, I had put this on some guitar. I had put it on some bass. I had put it on uh, this these electric keys, or the electric piano down here and used the keys profile. And this right here is the same exact project. The only thing that's different is it doesn't have balancer anywhere on it. So what I'm gonna do is let this play and loop around to the unaffected one, just so you can hear the difference it's made. And I didn't do anything more than was essentially allowed with balancer, and that is adjust the intensity and choose which algorithm is gonna work best for whatever instrument I was processing it at the time. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, I mean, there is definitely a big difference there. I liked the balancered, if that's a verb I can just make up, uh, version of the track where things seem like they're in their own place a lot more. They feel a lot more defined and the mix is a lot more dynamic. And I did go warm a lot uh, on the different algorithms here on the different elements of the track just because of the style of the track it is. But obviously, if I were making something more modern, I might be neutral to bright and so on and so forth. But just clicking through, not even changing the intensity or relearning anything. If I went through and switched everything to bright, I get a completely different mix that still sounds much better than having done nothing. So a really, really incredible plugin. So there you go. It's pretty awesome. Balancer, easy to use, lightweight on the CPU and delivers incredible results every time. Now, just to recap, you can grab Balancer, from Focusrite and Sonable, absolutely free with any purchase from Plugin Boutique up until May 3rd. And that's the same with the deals with Levels. You can actually get both if you make two separate purchases on the site. So if uh, you've been looking at a couple of different plugins, now is definitely the time to grab them. Anyway, as always, I'm Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.